Sadly, we are staying with the silver coin. We did not hit gold. For those of you that did, congrats. Uh, it was really hard predictions to be able to get to the next stage uh, with the gold coin. We've only gotten three of them correct, which was Vitality, Heroic, and Phase. A lot of the other teams fluked out, got upset, didn't really play as they should have, and some of the lower tier teams that weren't expected to go through actually did qualify, such as Into the Breach and Apex, I think, and Gamer Legion. We're back again for Paris 2023. We're on the champion stage now. Ah, uh, looking back at Legends stage, a lot of things went wrong. Now, we put Na'Vi 3-0. They didn't make it through anyway, but this was kind of a dumb pick. I should have had them down here, in theory, but everything kind of went wrong. Uh, 3 was not Breach. Into the Breach actually qualified. Ents fluked out. G2 didn't surprise or come through with their gameplay as they should and playing good counter-strike furia was just non-existent nine as well didn't play as expected and they kind of just got shut out instantly so now we are on to the champion stage with heroic phase monty gamer legion team liquid apex vitality and into the breach i'm still gonna place my picks put it out for youtube for you guys to look at and check out uh, see what you guys think of my picks and if you agree with them you can put them in but i am only at the silver coin now and there it is Still silver, sadly. So it looks like we are not going to be getting a diamond coin this year. There was a lot of upsets. It was kind of impossible to really tell what was going to happen with this one, unless you picked the underdogs. A lot of the main picks for people that thought were going to go through just did not go through. So I'm guessing probably like 95% of the pickums have just been destroyed at this point. We're going to start with our champion stage pickums. We're going to do this pretty quick. We're going to start with FaZe versus Heroic. I do think Heroic will win. Monty versus Gabriel Legion. Monty has been looking insanely well, and they've been playing some really good Counter-Strike. Team Liquid versus Apex. Apex could pull through, but I do think Liquid is at the stage where they're playing very well, and hopefully this isn't one of those things where I'm believing in Liquid, so they're going to fail me. More so, I do hope they actually do go through because I do think they have a good matchup and they can win this pretty easily. Then we have Vitality and Into the Breach. Of course, Vitality, ranked number one team in the world, along with Heroic as number two. Now, there could be upsets and it could go like this, but in theory, I mean, with how Heroic's playing and Vitality's playing, I do think Heroic will win and Vitality will win. And between these two picks, it's really tough. It's mostly a 50-50. Vitality is number one in the world. Heroic's number two in the world. Vitality is on, I think, like a nine-game win streak, along with Heroic on a three- or four-game win streak. So it really could come down to either of these teams winning. But there also is the possibility that Team Liquid or Monty step up to the plate and do win the major, which would be insane. Anything's possible at this point. And for the final pick and prediction for the grand final of 2023, I will be choosing... Vitality. I do think Vitality will take this home. With Vitality versus Heroic, I do think Heroic will probably not beat Vitality, but there is a world that's a 50-50 here. I do believe either one could win, and we're going to lock these in. I do think Vitality will win at all. I'm pretty confident in these picks, even though my Legend stage did not go as planned, but can't predict everything right. Don't forget to smash that like button. It really does help me. I appreciate everyone so much. I appreciate all the positivity and all the nice comments I've been getting. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much, everybody. Stay positive and good luck on your pickums.